Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Enter Dimensions Reality Update video, episode 45. And I just realized something. And this is because I have unlocked Linguistically Expand. I don't need to just have one more glyph anymore. I've gotten to E4000 eternity points and E24 dilated time. I can actually do more. And this, basically, I realized that it's only when I unequip glyphs that I have to start the reality over. I can actually put glyphs in and it doesn't reset anything. Which means that I can just do this. I can have all my glyphs back, basically, for the the end of this reality, which is really interesting. This is going to give me significantly more dilated time, significantly more just everything. Like, actually, I should probably try disabling dilation here, although it's kind of sucks considering how much replicanti I have. And in going into just, you know, respecking here, going going here, probably also have plenty of um, tachyon galaxies. And this is going to allow me to push all the way up to E6200 eternity points well that's just in one run and okay i know it does get weaker and weaker from here but this is gonna easily allow me to surpass my original goal of 56 reality machines which allows me to unlock linguistically expand existentially prolong and the temporal amplifier because i i still need more dial a time gain however Doing this as well, it's not just going to get me to 56. I could, I'm now up to 76, which means that instead of choosing a temporal amplifier, I can do one of these 50ers, which is kind of nice. So I guess that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm just going to keep grinding dilated time for now because I actually have, I'm, I'm starting to get way ahead of my my uploads. I think the last upload I've done is episode 37. And yeah, this is episode 45, so that's significantly, significantly more. And with all of this, you can see um, this is up to 3.66 times. It's just going to allow me to gain a lot of um, tachyon particles. Well, maybe not a lot of tachyon particles, but like you can see, especially with the replica replication glyph, this is now shorter than ever, because now it's just like last reality, except I have an additional 3.6 times boost to my effective dial at a time gain, which is going to be, it's probably going to allow me to get all the way up to at least E30 dilated time, which will give me to, allow me to soar to new heights of eternity points and reality machines. So, yeah, see you then. Okay, so I'm back a day later, and I have E29 dilated time, and I realized that next reality is just going to be so much better than this one, because I'm going to have another glyph, and I'll have, like, faster dilated time, that I, I, I want to kind of make this one a little bit quicker, and have the next one be the one where it really just takes a long time. And this will allow me to get, well, just a lot more things. I, I, I've calculated. I need 246 reality machines to get everything, to get all of these temporal amplifier, replicative amplifier, and superliminal amplifier. That's really what I want. I was thinking maybe 306 so I get the eternal amplifier as well, but I'm not quite there yet. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to export my save and then disable dilation and this gets this does get me to e16 tachyon particles and let's see if it's possible at all to reach 246 reality machines i think i don't know how many eternity points that's going to require but okay we're up to we're up to 216 that's a decent star i also have 260 tachyon galaxies, so I should be able to get at least a little bit farther from last time. I got I got 20 228 reality machines last time, and it looks like 
I can hit about 225 without much trouble, but going at going farther than that t is going to take a little bit. I'm also not close to level 5 glyphs, and these glyphs are starting to look a little bit interesting here, because this is kind of lagging behind, and then this glyph is now decisively better than my current time dimension glyph, so it's, it's going to be a, a pretty difficult choice to make. Like, actually, like I, I'm, I'm rethinking my decision. I still might choose the Infinity Glyph, just because it's a really good Infinity Glyph. But this time, this time Glyph isn't bad either. Uh, the, the other two are complete garbage. But I've basically calculated that I think even if I do get this Infinity Glyph, I think this Glyph is still actually better, because it's 0 0.033, and even though this would like compound multi multiplicatively, it's just not multiplicative enough to reach what I really want here. So I think I'm still going to choose the Infinity Glyph because it's something I don't have and it's a good rarity, but I'm not going to actually use it, which is kind of funny. Okay, it looks like I just got a Galaxy, which was enough to take me from like 241 to 245. Here we go, 246 Reality Machines. That's all I need for what I want. So here we go. Make a new reality. Infinity Glyph. And yeah, this is going to be crazy. I almost want to export my save again, um, which means I, I, yeah, I, I lost the save before export, but that, that's fine. So I'm actually getting 247 reality machines. But yeah, here we go. This is going to be one of the craziest realities because it's basically the culmination of everything up to this point. So here we go. Three, two, one, bam. So this means that I'll be up to 251 reality machines, and it's just enough to get what I want. So there is, I'm actually going to do a reset this reality because I want to, well, first of all, it's essentially prolonged. It's huge, and I'm probably going to need to, I might need to reset my reality for this. I mean, that's okay because I'm not actually anywhere into the reality. But it's just something I want to um, note because I because here's the thing, the perk I'm gonna get. I I've made my decision. It's pretty obvious I'm gonna get this one because because of the how overpowered this one is at the start and how overpowered this one gets with not very much effort. It just it's gonna make me breeze through this part of the game. So yeah, here we go. This perk I am getting. Um, so have, so this means I actually have the upgrade, so I'm probably not going to, I'm not going to reset my reality. The other big thing is the other upgrades, like gain another glyph slot. That's, that's pretty important. Um, because now I have, I have this glyph. It's kind of garbage. So I'm going to get, um, this. I'm just going to use another power glyph. I think it's, I think this is literally the better choice at this point. Next up, the other reality upgrades, which are the boundless flow and the telemechanical process. So this is going to, this gives me auto buyers for the auto buy EP mole and the time dimensions, which is, it's just something that really helps in the quality of life department. The other upgrades I'm going to get are, well, Temporal Amplifier. This goes up all the way to 900. Jeez. Replicative Amplifier. And Superliminal Amplifier. And these all increase by 30 times. So it's a bit of a yikes. Because I am nowhere near this many reality machines. Um, at this point. And like with the row 4 upgrades. It says what? It's two, okay, yeah, I have, I have two uncommon or better glyphs, technically. Um, eventually, I'm going to use this glyph, this glyph, this glyph, or something like that, and another rarer glyph, so I can get the um, uh, the disparity of rarity, which will improve the, the glyph rarity formula. The problem is it costs 1,500 reality machines. So now at this point, I mean, we can we can look at our statistics here, it's... Um, all pretty interesting, like, 
it's two four like everything is now this except this which is, has just some ties in it it only took 65 hours to get 247 reality machines which means 3.77 reality machines per hour well yeah 65 hours real time but it, um in game time it was more because of the black hole and now I should probably, you know, start progressing because, yeah. And oh my God, see, like, look, look at all these achievements. Um, I've since I start with all the dirty milestones, yeah. Like this is why it feels like I have an achievement perk just because I'm getting so many achievements right now. Seriously, and here is eternity, and. Like, what achievements don't I have? The Ninth Dimension is a lie. There's no point in doing that. Um, okay, this one's easy if I can get it. Um, I mean, there's some achievements I just don't want to go for, like anti-tables and stuff. Um, there's just some really tedious ones that I don't want to have to do. But those aren't very important anyway, and it doesn't take very long for me to get the achievements. It's already down to 22 hours, and this is game time so the black hole is going to <laughs> it, it's gonna it's going to speed that up so yeah you can see this is incredibly overpowered what i have right here and of course i can now get time theorems which means i i can probably already get time study 42 at this point which is insane i'm i don't even need do i, do I need to hold m i don't what, what, what is my automation? Oh, yeah, 60 automator points because I got so many upgrades that gave me um, the automator points. I, I'm first just going to... Oh, my God. Why is tick speed by singles? Why? Why? Um, and then I think everything else is pretty good. So we can, we can now do seconds between eternities and X times highest EP, which is actually something we have in New Game Plus 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 without having to unlock quantum or whatever which is pretty interesting but i'm gonna go back to this 60 automator points this means i am suddenly basically i've i've transitioned from being like okay it's something to look for um some something to look for like in the like medium term future to oh crap i'm actually close to unlocking the automator the thing is that a lot of the, the thing is that these upgrades this I'm um, nowhere close this requires a lot of days of waiting and so there's real it's really just perks at this point and i I've, I've looked at the perk tree and i've seen that these two perks collectively give 25 automator points which is most of the way i need 40 more I can get 25, if I choose my perks, like, because it's, it's four perk points until this. Um, this means that if I just do four realities, I can get this, and then a fifth reality can get me this one. And all of a sudden, that is five realities, so that is um, going to be ten automator points, plus... 5 automator points, plus 10 automator points, plus 15 automator points. That is 40 automator points, and I'll have the automator unlocked in just 5 realities, which is crazy. Um, realities might start getting faster from here on out, but I think at this point, I still want to... I still want to focus a little bit more on like trying to get a lot of reality machines, especially like the black hole is just going to be crazy. So, yeah, next episode, I guess I'm just going to go through the, the regular content again. And it's, it's going to be different enough that I probably want to record it all. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.